Hey loves, so this is the look we are going to create today with a nice bright red lip and some cranberry tones on the eyes with a little bit of glitter. I am so ready for fall. Are you ready for fall? I'm so ready for fall. And I am also re-obsessed with all of these Makeup Geek shadows that I'm using in this video. Love them so much, so if you want to see how I got this look and went from the left to the right, just keep watching. Alrighty loves, so we want some glowy skin today to go with our look, so I'm going to begin with MAC Strobe Cream. Just buff that into my face. Buff it. You know what I mean. <laughs> and I'm going to mix these two foundations. I love them. And use the Morphe M439 to buff them in. This is the 3-in-1 Coverall Outlast in Ivory, I believe. And then Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk Foundation in shade 3. And then I'm going to prime my lids. I'm going to use the NYX White Eyeshadow Base. And then I'm just going to set all of that with Makeup Geek's Vanilla Bean. And I was going to try and continue just doing my shadow and going with my brows later, but I just couldn't. I couldn't. <laughs> I always do my brows before I do my eyeshadow, so I had to go back in, and that is the difference. Alright, now we're going to go into Peach Smoothie in my Sigma E40 and buff that into the crease. It's going to be our transition shade. I love blending Bitten out into Peach Smoothie. It's just so beautiful. All right, now we're gonna go in with Bitten in a smaller tapered blending brush. This one is from Coastal Scents. I'm not sure of the number. And we're just gonna blend that right above our crease. I have a small lid, so if you don't, you can go ahead and go right into your crease. But I like to do this so my lids appear a little bit larger. Oh, I'm so in love with the shadow. So good, so good. And then I just dabbed a little bit on the outer corners just to bring that down. And then I'm just gonna buff out the edges again using a little bit more Peach Smoothie with that Sigma E40. Now we're going to go in with Ice Queen, and I'm just going to tap that all over the lid. This step is kind of unnecessary, but I wanted to make sure that the lid was bright underneath the pigment I'm about to go in with. Now we're going to use some MAC Fix Plus and use New Year's Day, also by Makeup Geek. It's a Makeup Geek day, isn't it? <laughs> and I'm just going to wet the brush with the Fix Plus and tap that onto my lid. I wanted a little more glitter, so I'm going with this glitter from Star Crush Minerals in I Believe It's Magic and using my LA Splash eyeshadow sealer base. Love this stuff. I'm just tapping that on my lid and then tapping the glitter right on top and blending out the edges of Bitten. And then I went in with a little more Bitten just to deepen that up. And now I'm going to conceal underneath my eyes. This is the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer in Chantilly. Just a little bit down my nose. I'm also highlighting with this and on my chin. I'm also going to mix a little bit of Max Prep and Prime and Light Boost. These two together, so good. All right, and now we're just going to tap that out with this tapered Kabuki from Tweezer Man. It just absorbs any excess product and blends it out all nicely. Now I'm going to set all of that concealer with Physicians Formula Mineral Correcting Powder in Translucent. And then I've also realized that if I use a cosmetic sponge and press the powder into my face right around my nose where my foundation usually breaks up throughout the day, it keeps it in place. So stoked on this. Now we're going to use a burgundy liner. This one is from Stila. And I'm just going to put that right on my lower lash line and then just buff that out with this little angled brush. And now I'm just gonna buff a little bit of Bitten right on top of that and then blend it out into Peach Smoothie. Just kind of mimic the top. And now we're going in with Ice Queen in this pencil brush and just tapping that on the inner corner to brighten things up a little bit. And now we're just gonna tight line. I'm using a black liner from Bella Pierre Cosmetics. Now we're going to contour. I'm gonna use the e.l.f. contour palette. I'm really loving this little guy. It's a little dark for my skin tone, but I am super fair and it blends out really nicely. I do have to go back in always after I apply it and buff it out to blend it out with a brush just so it doesn't look way too harsh, but I do really like it. For the price, it's super, super good. I've been using it every day since I got it. Now I'm just contouring my nose and this is the Sonia Kashuk contour brush and blending that as well. Now we're gonna go with the bronzer shade. I'm gonna use that as a blush just to kind of warm up my skin a little bit, but I don't want to put too much color on my cheeks because my lips are going to be so bold and the eyeshadow is pretty bold too. But you know, 
I gotta do that highlight. <laughs> First, we're gonna start with Champagne Pop from Becca and just apply that on our cheekbones, down our nose, little on the forehead, little on the chin, little on the cupid's bow, all over. And then I like to go in with Moonstone on top of that, just to kind of lighten it up a little bit. I can totally do Champagne Pop on its own, but I prefer a little lighter of a highlight on my fair skin. So all about the highlight, all the glow, yes. I knew when I sat down that I wanted to do a burgundy look with super glowy skin, and this is what I came up with. So now I skipped mascara because I'm doing a video on a new mascara, so that'll be up very soon. So I cut out the demo, and now we are just applying a lip liner. This is LBB from ColourPop, and then I'm going to go in with a mix of Avenue from ColourPop and the Ultra Matte Lips, and then mix a little bit of Lychee right on top of that. I love these two together. Now we're just going in with some lashes. These are the 501s from Coco Lashes. I have been loving these lashes right now, especially when I go light on the liner. They just look so wispy. Love them. And they're only like $3.99, which compared to other Coco Lashes, super good deal. I think I ordered them from Lady Moss Beauty. All right, loves, and this is the completed look. I hope you like it. Let me know if you wanna see more videos with Makeup Geek Shadows. And are you guys ready for fall? Because I am so, I know I already said it, but I am so ready for fall. I am all about these shades, clearly. If you guys ever recreate any of my looks, please take me on Facebook, Twitter, or Instagram, or send me a Snapchat. All that information will be down below, and it is throughout this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love you guys so much, and I will talk to you soon. Bye!